Hello and welcome back. In this episode, we are looking at how to insert a background image without writing an HTML code. All right. So on our previous lesson, we looked at how to insert a profile image and give it a border radius, like how you are seeing on the screen. Now, to do that, we have opened our folder structure. Okay, and inside of our images, I have added two images. One is what background image one and background IMG two. Okay. So this is what I'm, we are going to use as our background image, okay? Now, inside our test editor, like I said before, we are not going to write a HTML code for this project. We are going to use only CSS. We want to insert the image inside the body section. So we write the code right here. So we write a background, we write a background image property, then we give it what, what follow is the URL, the universal resource locator. Then inside the URL, we call our image, Please, the, the images that I'm calling is the folder, okay? The, this image folder, that is what I'm calling. Then after I call the image folder, I do forward slash, then the image name. My image name is what? Background image. Background image, then the file extension. My file extension is, I think it's JPG. JPG, okay, let me save it. Please, we are saving it. Let's go back to the browser and refresh and see how it turns. Okay, we are not seeing a result. Let's go and find out. All right, so my image name is not background image, it's background IMG, not background image, okay? So it's background IMG, something like this. Now you save it to the browser and let's refresh. We are still not getting the result. Background, okay, still nothing. Let's go and find out. Oh, sorry, images, please always check the experience. Okay, check, make sure you check the spellings, okay? Uh, or else, you don't have the results that you're expecting. Okay, there we go. We can see our background image and the image has covered the, the whole weight of, the, of our background, okay? Okay, so we can see that our image has been nicely inserted. Okay, so if you like, you can use the CSS to style the width and the height and get it accurate, okay? My work here is to show you how to use a background image. Now, what I would like us to do next is, I would like us to use a background image for this particular section here, okay? this particular place uh, i think it's here yes i think um, this place okay so i would like us to use a background image for this place and to do that i, I don't think we need the test color so let's take the the color the test as a bar the, the color as a background let's take that one now we have it plain now let's go ahead and in, uh, insert our background so to insert our background image All right, so it's the same proceeding. Okay, so I just I just grab the code and paste. And what I can do next is just to change the image name. Okay, so I'm using the second image, which is IMG2. Then I save it, head towards my browser and refresh. And you can see that um, the image has been nicely inserted here for me. Okay, so an image like this, I think I I will need I will need a test color. I will need the 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 font color of uh, maybe white. To, all right, so let's refresh, and there we go. Okay, so th this is how you can take advantage of inserting a background image for your project and making it making it look more what awesome. All right, so that will be that for this. Let's be on the next one and learn more.